Welcome to AG Chelsea TV, in this video content we take a look at the latest Chelsea news and our views on it. All news is collected by us from reliable and quality sources. And now to the main content. Writing in his column for Cy Dan Talk Chelsea, as quoted by the Metro, former Blues defender Frank Leboeuf hit out at Sterling, describing him as clumsy and insisting he never looked worth the money the West London Giants paid for him. Sterling was a star player for many years at Man City, but it's fair to say he hasn't made the same impact in his brief time at Chelsea so far, though he's also far from the only signing from last summer to look like a flop. Chelsea are ready to step up their interest in Gambian wonderkid Adama Bojang, who's made a spectacular start to the under-20 World Cup in Argentina. The highly rated striker, 18, scored after just 30 seconds in his country's opening group stage game against Honduras on Monday before netting another goal, to earn Gambia a 2-1 victory. Bojang, who plays for native side Steve Biko FC, was already on Chelsea's radar before the tournament began and the Blues hoped to offer him as a welcome gift for incoming manager Mauricio Pochettino. Paul Merson has urged Arsenal to sign Romelu Lukaku after missing out on the Premier League title. For Merson, who won the league twice with Arsenal, part of the problem was a lack of goals up front, Arsenal's squad is bare, he told Give Me Sport. It wasn't strong enough to win the league, they need to buy players. Top quality players, Manchester City are head and shoulders above everybody, so you need to get stronger just to compete. The Portugal international moved from Atletico to Chelsea back in January and hasn't exactly set the world alight at Stamford Bridge, though he's perhaps shown some moments of quality, while he's also previously been very highly regarded during his days as a youngster at Benfica. Chelsea may well think there are better options out there than Felix, but the player himself seems very happy with the West Londoners, so he could be ready to stay if they are also happy to have him. I don't know yet my future, but these four or five months, I've loved it. It's a top club, Felix said, as quoted by Goal. Manchester United are set to open talks over a £55 million move for Chelsea star Mason Mount, the Daily Mail claim. Mount, 24, has just one year left on his current deal at Stamford Bridge and has rejected multiple offers of a new contract. Arsenal and Liverpool have also been linked with interest but Eric Ten Hag has seemingly taken the initiative, with it being noted that the United manager is determined to sign the England international. However, United's £55 million bid falls well below Chelsea's £85 million asking price, and incoming Blues boss Mauricio Pochettino wants Mount as part of his squad next season. Xavi insists that he has no problem with Jules Kounder amid reports that he's close to leaving Barcelona after less than a year. Barca chief Mateur Olemoni recently hinted at the French defender's departure to help resolve their financial issues. But Xavi said after last night's 3-1 defeat to Real Valladolid, I spoke with Count and I was clear with him. I know there are a lot of stories, but the player left the meeting happy and sane for me. There are no problems. The conversation has been clear, no problem and no issues. Count, 24, is reportedly unhappy playing at right back, with Chelsea reigniting their interest after missing out on him last summer. Chelsea have reportedly submitted a £70 million offer for Juventus striker Dusan Vlahovic. The Serbian forward has scored 23 goals in 62 games since signing for the Old Lady in January 2022, but is not thought to be happy at the club due to manager Massimiliano Allegri's defensive approach. Despite spending over £300 million in January on the likes of Enzo Fernandez, Chelsea failed to sign a genuine centre-forward and have struggled in front of goal. Only three clubs have netted less league goals than them this season, and no player has scored more than nine across all competitions. In our opinion, in addition to Ozerman, Vlahovic is also an ideal choice for Pochettino. Manchester United and Chelsea may reportedly have to pay big money for the transfer of Everton midfielder Amadou Onana this summer. Onana has shown what he can do at Premier League level, and it's not surprising that Everton think they can get good money for him if they put him on the market this summer. Fabrizio Romano has also told Court Offside that Onana was on Chelsea's list of targets in January, and he wouldn't rule out the Belgium international being someone they could look at again in the summer. It's been a nightmare of a season at Stamford Bridge, and a young talent like Onana could be ideal to come in and replace the aging and injury-prone N'Golo Kante. And that is also the last content in today's video. If you enjoy the video please leave us one like and one subscribe and don't forget to click the bell to not miss the latest content from us.